today i'm going to share my view on the ever important topic of customer experience in the payment industry now you'll all agree that today we live in a world of abundance you know we have unlimited choices unlimited convenience everything we desire be it information or goods is available to us you know instantaneously at the tap of a key or delivered to us digitally um, in a few seconds and importantly even physical goods now are almost being delivered within minutes at our doorstep right we couldn't have thought about this a few months ago that fresh vegetables or food can be delivered within 30 minutes of ordering but insta commerce has made it possible and there are players you know large players like zepto swiggy blinkit who are extending such services and many more are are planning to get into this business uh, you know of insta commerce as we speak now all, all these innovations are driven with the objective of delighting the customer and enhancing the overall experience of the customer now let me take you back a few years uh, not too long ago uh, you know if you wanted a telephone in india uh, it would take something like 5 years after paying a deposit right uh, it was called oit or own your telephone scheme today we can just walk across a neighborhood store we pick up a sim and we activate a new telephone connection within minutes leveraging on all the technology whether it be tech whether it be telecom technology whether it be the aadhaar biometrics right and that is a significant and delightful customer experience as opposed to a few, you know couple of decades back when you had to wait for many a long to get a telephone importantly our telephone which was earlier just a utility device for you know calling people and having a conversation is now a smartphone it has a camera it's a complete entertainment center and it also enables you to do uh, you know e-commerce and banking and so many things at the touch of a screen the popularity and availability of smartphones along with their affordability has made india the world's second largest smartphone market and its penetration is estimated to increase to 96% by 2040 the experience of using a smartphone with hyper personalization multiple features and universal usage capability have been the key growth drivers for such high adoption now what does the smartphone enable it basically uh, you know gives you a lot of power at your fingertips right it's one of the key drivers for growth of e-commerce in the country right and the availability of bandwidth of course so this has helped widen the online customer base which is said to be the second largest globally by 2030 with 500 million shoppers that is statistics for our country as we speak today online businesses are selling their products and services through different formats again it's important to realize that the payment experience forms a crucial part of the overall uh, you know customer experience while buying online customers expect the payment experience to be intuitive simple and most importantly secure they do not want to consciously think about which payment method to use but are happy to rely on a seamless experience provided by safe and secure payment service provider now this explains the success of upi in the country and that has led to significant growth in financial inclusion upi is very simple and intuitive to use when i say upi i mean you know there are various forms that you use it you the bank app you use google pay you use phone pay use any of these apps which run on upi rails now it has led uh, to adoption digital payment adoption and more importantly as i said financial inclusion now let me give you a couple of examples first one my neighborhood pani puri vendor right i mean he 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 got his card there um you know you call it pani puri in some parts of the country puchka in others and golgappa in others but the key thing is um the other day after a long time i went and had pani puri and you know i said look i'm not carrying money he said sir google pay kar do and so i was able to pay now it's not the simplicity of accepting payment now here is the background to it right he has by accepting a payment on upi it also means he now has a bank account which means that there is a bank that can actually see 
how much business he's doing every day right and then he becomes eligible for a loan from the bank based on his or her daily uh, revenue coming from the business now earlier these people used to struggle to get finance would probably have to go and borrow at very assurious rates of interest and um, and and repay it's a huge burden but now they have access to uh, much easier forms of uh, you know lending and you know driven by uh, what is what i call as you know market rates of interest the same thing um, in places like mumbai you have this wonderful service a person comes and delivers bread and eggs every day at the door the same person now accepts uh, upi as a payment which means that he or she is access, is is now able to access a bank account and becomes eligible for getting a loan and this is what i mean by financial inclusion it's so important that we are able to bring all these small micro entrepreneurs within the ambit of uh, you know the formal business system and and the banking system and make them eligible for getting loans at market rates of interest what is the seamless payment experience right payment experience that is perfectly matched to the customer's need can not only help them to smoothly complete a transaction but can increase loyalty lead to higher conversions and thereby enable uh, repeat ordering from the site now there are payment innovations like instant emi buy now pay later which have also become very popular as they have been crafted to fulfill specific needs of customers you know it's very easy to use them it's very easy easy to subscribe to an emi now right think of the days when you had to fill up a few forms wait for a finance company to give approval it's all available now online at, at a click of a button so these are facilitating um, you know high ticket high purchases uh, by making making it affordable and more accessible for a larger set of users now another example that that i'd like to talk about here is the whole fast tag uh, example right um, fast tag facilitates uh, you know your the travel across the country across toll gates right without having to stop uh, stand in a queue because you have to pay collect change you know all those issues are now gone you are able to cross Uh, toll gates very simply by just driving because you have a fast tag um, on your vehicle. Similarly, contactless payments, soft pause, QR based payments, e mandates, they've all been built from a payments perspective to address real problems, right? And these are a big hit with customers because they're scaled up very well and are easy to use, right? And you know when you look at in the larger context of the country when fuel prices are hitting the roof imagine for a fleet operator or a logistic company uh, you know which are running you know dozen trucks on the highways and if they have to wait at every toll for whatever you know 5 10 15 minutes uh, and now can pass through seamlessly right this kind of a throughput where you drive through seamlessly you know a lot of time is saved Uh, you know and and wastage of fuel is reduced significantly right and fastag is now widening its scope of collection to parking lot fuel payments and other services by involving multiple stakeholders in the larger ecosystem right and and this gives us a glimpse of how a customer centric approach and real problem solving product uh, has can can have many many takers and improve the overall uh, you know what i call as the uh, you know the productivity of the country itself right and and as one innovation takes off you can you have other innovation that are riding on this one and helping it only improve uh, you know the customer experience and and you know if the innovation around payments doesn't stop here going forward we will continue to witness newer ways of paying with the implementation of automated uh, and optimized solutions with artificial intelligence um, internet of things distributed ledger technology which is uh, in the real world called cryptocurrency which is not yet um, you know embraced by many governments including ours but these are all you know payment uh, 
uh, innovations that are uh, you know waiting to take off right we also have some more very simple ways of solving uh, payment problems like payments through feature phones right a significant part of the country a number of people cannot afford to buy a smartphone uh, so they use feature phones so can we get more and more of feature phone users into digital payments world of digital payments it's already possible right then the government is also embarking on and the regulator embarking on pidf which is to help uh, proliferate the acceptance network across the country uh, you know this is essentially being able to do transactions to qr and pos right even in the remotest of the cities the tier 5 the tier 6 cities across the country right and these innovations are only possible when we keep the customer at the center of all our thinking and innovation and keep pushing the bar higher and higher and with that uh, you know i'd like to kind of sum up uh, what i have you know spoken so far that whether it is payments which is the industry i represent or any other industry right whether it's mobile telephony or e-commerce uh, or for that matter fintech industry a deep understanding of customer needs is important and how you go about solving the customer need is is also very important because at the end of it you know when you have uh, tools and and solutions which are customer centric and improve the customer experience and keep the customer at the core of all our innovation that is a sure shot way of ensuring success for any industry thank you For more updates from CXO TV please like and subscribe to our channel